How's it going guys? Back this week's so garage sale find. So it's going to be a couple weeks worth of stuff, uh, including stuff from the uh, 127 garage sale that happened a couple weeks ago. Uh, that's the big long garage sale that goes from Michigan down to Alabama. Uh, we hit the Ohio part of that, uh, Northern Ohio down past probably three fourths the way down to uh, the Southern part of Ohio. Uh, did plan on going up to Michigan, uh, but got, got held up by a railroad crossing that had been closed for like an hour. So we just turned around and went back home. Uh, so this is gonna be the sterling watches and gold I found the last, let's say, uh, 17 days or so. Nothing too crazy, uh, but it's fun to do the, the search and the hunt for the stuff. So found this in Salina, Ohio. Uh, on the 127. This is a, in a garage sale. I found a few of these in the past. These are bicentennial plates. Uh, almost every plate you find is going to be pretty much worthless. Uh, but when they're made out of sterling silver, that's another story. So uh, on the back there it says uh, made from sterling. So sterling with this uh, gold kind of wash plating on it. Uh, again, I'm not sure if I said this is $40, and that's eight ounces of sterling silver. So a good find there. This little box of, it's all Siam sterling silver. So I have some bracelets. These pins. I think there's some cufflinks and some other jewelry, all the same design. There's another pin or brooch. Whoops. And that's uh, three ounces of sterling there. This miscellaneous box of little spoons, and some of these are actually marked sterling. So that's a sterling one. There's a few other sterling pieces in there. Uh, this one has some Chinese markings on it, or Japanese. This like dragon spoon. So I'm not sure if that's going to be a silver or just a plating on it. Found a few different bags of miscellaneous watches, and some of them had some hidden treasures inside. So this is just uh, pretty much fashion, quartz, ladies' watches. Uh, found this uh, Casio working watch. In the bags, there's a lot of uh, Timex. So pulled all these Timex watches out of them and none of these watches were actually working at first. Let's see, is this one still going? This one stopped, this uh, telephone dial. But to try and get these working, I always, I try to use this uh, oil and I use this uh, dental tool, just a little bit of oil and like the movement back here, I'll just take it and then just kind of put a little bit of oil in these openings and then get a couple shakes and see if it'll start running again. Uh, like I said, uh, just a, just a very tiny bit of oil. Sometimes it works, uh, sometimes it doesn't. We can see these Timex movements, they're like riveted together, so you can't really disassemble these to uh, clean them properly. So, uh, looks like, is this one going? So yeah, one's running. Uh, cool uh, telephone dial on this Timex there. In one of the bags of watches, found this nice piece. So have this uh, stainless steel Wittenauer, probably from the 1950s. So that was a nice uh, find in the bag of junk. Found a little bit of gold. So uh, that mom little pendant and then this little apple. And I'm not sure if this one was marked or not. I think it may be marked on the inside. Uh, no, it's on the outside there. So I believe it's uh, it's 14 karat gold. And then this ring. 
can see had to be cut off the person. And that one's a 14K. And then that little uh, pendant that says Brat, and that's a 14K. I also pulled this stuff out of the different bags of watches, uh, probably from the 90s, the Citizen and Seiko quartz watches. I did put batteries in all these and they're working. Another cool Wittenauer military style watch and this one actually is running too. I bought that by itself on a table and that was only five dollars. So 1940s, 1950s Wittenauer military style watch. A little bit disappointing on this watch. Uh, this is the third one I found in the last couple of years. This uh, Citizen Wingman kind of flight watch. Uh, put a battery in it and fortunately this watch is not running. Looks like there's corrosion that got spread throughout the watch. So this probably this watch probably was running, uh, but they left the batteries in too long and it, they started to corrode. So uh, still this watch in this condition not running for parts is probably around a 60 to $70 piece. So only, I paid $20 for that. So I'll still make my money back and a little bit of profit with that. Have this Jazz uh, Paris women's style watch. So this watch is running. A little bit surprised on this one. Uh, looks like they sell like as a Cartier kind of homage watch and I've seen some similar sell for around $100 to 150 range or for this style of watch. And I picked that up at a uh, sale for $2. And then uh, I can't remember where I got this. This might've been in the bag too. So this uh, Gruen Curvex Precision. This is just a uh, gold plated or gold filled. But as you can see, it is running. And then this Elgin uh, gold filled men's watch. A little bit unusual, a larger size for back in the day. This is probably from the 1930s and the crystal is cracked. I do have additional crystals that would probably fit on that. Uh, unfortunately, this watch is not running, so they'll be need to be repaired. Uh, also, non-running Hampton uh, gold-filled ladies size uh, pocket watch just for parts. Also found this cool uh, Grateful Dead pin. So similar, I paid a dollar for that. I found one complete on eBay, sold for $30. So let's see what else I got. Found this Hamilton. The box doesn't match the watch. But this Hamilton Quartz, this is probably like a service watch when the person retired. Uh, he was given this. So there might be a company logo or something on the bottom there. That was only $5. I've actually sold one uh, pretty similar to that. Uh, just maybe two months ago, I brought $60. Uh, and the best piece is going to be probably this one right here. I bought this just thinking it was just a working pocket watch. And they had this marked for uh, $15, which is a good deal for this watch. Uh, just thinking it was gold filled has a gold filled knife on it and then this gold filled chain. Uh, the good thing with this watch though is, uh, like I said, when I bought it, I thought it was just gonna be uh, like a gold filled case. Yeah, it's actually 10 karat gold. So uh, take the back off and the inside is stamped uh, 10 karat. So very nice find there. Uh, did an estimate on the weight. I didn't take the movement out to get a correct weight but this watch and scrap is around $500 in scrap just for the gold value only on that. So uh, I think that's going to be it of the finds last two weeks or so. 
Again, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed, uh, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time.